Hi, this is Ralph Rosa Pearl Usage, and I'm joining you again with Things to Live By. And today I want to talk about our world, our planet, our universe. And um, the reason why is because we're very intrigued by UFOs. We've always wanted to know more based on you know how many years I've been alive. We've always been intrigued by um, whether there is an alien life form out there. And, you know, there's so many news clippings on UFOs, spottings, and whether, you know, we're being told the whole story, you know. But have you ever thought, is our world really prepared to greet? a human, another, sorry, another life form, or would they understand, you know, our world, would they feel like safe enough to come to us if we said, you know, you know, greetings, you know, we're ready to meet you, we come in peace, would they really feel secure? Um, we have so many issues, social issues, we have health issues, we have economic woes, there's a planetary issue with global warming, you know, so we have a lot to work, work on. And that's one thing that I was thinking about. Would anybody feel safe? Would these aliens feel safe? Would they understand, you know, our world that says, you know, you're not yellow or you're not blue so I'm gonna make you feel like you're not acceptable would they understand that would they feel safe after observing us you know to come and dwell with us or visit or would they understand the fact that we're sick or we can't solve our, our sickness problem or the global warming warming issue a lot of times you know there are things that we can and cannot change but as human beings we can change our world so that we can have love amongst one another um, now that is something we can't control other things we can't control um, so something that's always been recommended is to be grateful is gratefulness and how it's always been uh, recommended that we can do this is by being grateful for at least five things in the morning. And so basically what you do is you wake up before going about your day, you, you pause and you observe, you know, the things that you're grateful for and you are thankful. You list them, you thank your creator for them, and somehow this benefits us and studies have shown that it makes you a happy a happier person it actually also benefits your health and when you're better on the inside and you feel great on the inside it really has a trickling effect on how others view you and how you treat your neighbor so these are things that we can do to help our personal world our family world our city's world our state's world our nation's world see these are things that we can change other things other issues sickness global warming crime um, you know those things require work and unfortunately you know, we're seeing a lot of news about this war in Europe, which they say is a third world war. You know, um, those things we cannot change. Or maybe we could if we had love, if we had gratefulness. 